People, culture and safety, these are the main attractions of the Czech Republic for Stephen King, who became a new ambassador of the United States to the Czech Republic. On the 1st of March 2018, he visited the Masaryk University in Brno, where he talked to its students about his own life and goals and about relationships between America and the Czech Republic. This year, these two countries celebrate a centenary. He answered students' questions and gave an exclusive interview to Muni TV. So good day, Mr. King. Thank you for coming today. Good day. Good day. My first question is going to be about uh, your nominating as a uh, ambassador. When you first found out about this, what did you think? <laughs> well, I was asked. I, I happen to know uh, a previous ambassador. His name is Rick Graver. He was the last George W. Bush ambassador here from 2006 to 2009. He's a personal friend from Wisconsin. And after his return from his post here, he talked so highly of the nation and of its people that when the opportunity for me came, came to me, uh, saying, would you like to be an ambassador? I said, well, I think that would be wonderful and maybe a nice capstone to my career and life uh, in terms of service. Uh, they said, well, where would you like to go? And I just said, Czech Republic, uh, never having been here. Uh, but uh, it was based on that which I had been told by Rick. So I came here with high expectations, and they've already been three months been exceeded. Could you point out one aspect that he told was great in the Czech Republic? The people, the, the people. He said they're a proud people. They've, they have had a history of being overrun all the time, but they always come back. They're industrious, they're friendly, um, and, uh, it's a safe place, he said. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're here for a few months already. Uh, did you experience some funny situation with Czech people, language, or you know, the country <laughs> itself? Mm, not language. I'm trying to think of something uh, funny. I can't think of anything off the top of my head that's funny. Um, not yet, maybe. Not yet. <laughs> you know, well, it's probably happened. I've just been so busy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've uh, maybe forgotten it already. Sorry. <laughs> what are the biggest difficulties for you in being an ambassador, personally? Well, as I mentioned in my remarks to the students here, um, security, the world has changed. And uh, Rick Graber, my friend when he was here, he didn't have the personal security escorts because it just wasn't uh, deemed necessary. Now it is, regrettably. It's just the world we live in. So uh, it's interesting in my life, I've been always accustomed to kind of going and doing freely whatever I want to do. Now I have a, a team that I have to communicate with who has been wonderful, frankly, uh, in terms of helping me adapt to, to the country. Uh, but it's just that diff it's a different lifestyle mm -hmm. in terms of having to have publicly when I'm out, always somebody with me. And is it only in Czech, in case of the Czech Republic, or each ambassador has its own uh, security? No, as I understand it, and I may be incorrect here, but as I, as I understand it, there's only two uh, ambassadors in the Czech Republic that receive uh, state security support, and that's myself and the ambassador from Israel. Mm -hmm. But I meant it like uh, the U.S. ambassadors throughout the world. Oh. Uh, I think in most countries of the world, uh, American ambassadors are receiving security support. Yes, mm -hmm. right. And I think it's true of uh, Israeli ambassadors around the world too. And what is the most positive thing about being here? Uh, representing representing the United States, it's it's it it's it makes me proud, obviously, to represent uh, my country here, uh, and the reception I've received from pretty much everybody here in the country. Uh, America, I think, is still, despite you know what some might believe, I think America is still highly regarded, and we have a mutual respect going between the two countries. Your meeting with students was uh, mainly focused on the relationships between Czechs and uh, American people right. during 100 years. Right. What exactly would you point out as the best achievement or the most valuable one throughout these years? Throughout the 100 years? Yeah. Well, certainly it was the formation, you know, of the relationship back in 1918 is, is certainly important. Um, I think uh, in May I'll be going to Pilsen to help commemorate the uh, American uh, 
uh, occupation of Pilsen and the freeing of Pilsen in, in certain parts of Czechoslovakia at the time, uh, I think that certainly has to be uh, a highlight. And uh, what U.S. and Czech cooperation may bring or offer to Czech students? Well, as I think I mentioned in my remarks, you know, I, I want to spend a lot of time talking to the young people of the country, especially those that are 25 years and younger, to impress upon them how important it is to remain vigilant. I mean, all they've enjoyed in their life is freedom in their 25 years or less in this country. Freedom, individual liberty. But their parents and their grandparents know what it can be. So I think the challenge to the young people of this country and the message I want to communicate is that you, you have to remain vigilant. Freedom doesn't come at, any, at with no cost. Is there any problematic aspect of uh, cooperation between our two countries? Well, we have a number of exchange programs, both from an uh, economic relationship, from a security relationship, and from a mutually respectful uh, friendship, too. Um, as I think I also mentioned to the young folks uh, earlier, um, there are nations, there are adversaries out there who would love to drive a wedge between the relationship between East and West, between the United States and the, uh, the Czech Republic. Uh, we, we can help. We can help discern the difference between what is the truth and what is fake news. So we have a monopoly of truth. <laughs> no, we don't have a monopoly on truth, but we have a, a monopoly on distinguishing between the shared values that we enjoy together and those that, uh, that don't share those. Probably you might heard of uh, horrible news about a young investigative reporter that was killed in Slovakia a few days ago. And uh, you uh, used to serve as a um, special agent in FBI investigating public corruption, if I can put it like that. Uh, but as you see it, throughout these years and centuries, it doesn't actually change. It like it's balance, balancing, but corruption is still here. And I'm asking you if you think that it's possible to live in a world without corruption, or it's a characteristic of human being. It's, it, I think you know we are humans, and humans uh, can fail at times. And uh, corruption, in some form or another, will always be something that we'll be challenged with uh, eliminating. Well, I think you start first and foremost with the, the, the values, you know, what is right and what is wrong, what is good and what is bad. Uh, you have laws that need to be uh, upheld in a, by an independent judiciary that's transparent. Uh, you just need to undergird those and keep lifting those up as the answer to things like corruption. Every Czech person that I was talking to about you and everybody who saw the the invitation for your uh, um, talk, uh, saw your name and thought about the famous author Stephen <laughs> King, of course. Have you ever tried to write a book? No, I haven't. People said I should because I've had an interesting life. Uh, maybe one day I might consider that, but uh, I'm not an author, but I'm happy to give anybody my autograph, Stephen King, and they can use it as they will. <laughs> <laughs> and hypothetically, Yes. If you've decided to write mem memoirs, right. what would be your favorite chapter? I think that's yet to be determined. I mean, I've had a lot of uh, wonderful, blessed things occur to me in my life, and I've had some tough times, too. Uh, I'd like to think that this three-plus years I'm going to be spending in the Czech Republic will be near the top. <laughs> Thank Good. you very well, much. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Good luck Thank to you. you.